What's going on guys? Matt here with Chaos Art. I'm back again, finally. I've been gone for a really long time. and Unfortunately, I haven't been able to make any tutorials due to school and other things like that. But I am back and I will start continuing to make some more tutorials for you. Um, most of mine are going to be Photoshop now. I am starting a Photoshop series from now on. Um, I am working on a few After Effects. I know before I did say I will be doing an After Effects one soon, but I don't know when that will be. I have learned a lot more about Photoshop throughout the break, so this will be the first one in a series of videos, and they will have their own playlist. So, I'm going to go ahead and start off this tutorial by saying thank you for your patience, and thank you for all of your support for everyone who has subscribed to me. It is a huge help, and I really appreciate it. But in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about masking. It is a very, very useful tool that you can use in Photoshop. It is a very safe way to crop without it being damaging to your image. What does that mean, Matt? Well, <laughs> whenever you damage your image is when you do like a harsh crop or a unreversible crop. And what that is, is when you use this tool right here, or your pen tool, or anything else that makes a selection, that can be a harsh crop and it'll make it where your image either has to be rasterized, where it isn't vector based anymore, or it just cuts it to the point where you can't reverse it. What masking does is you can even use it on rastered image, images and vectored images to where you can paint it away and paint it back if you need to. Very, very useful. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to File, New. Name it masking. Let's make this a little bit bigger than one inch. All right. I'm just going to be using text, for example. You can use any sort of image, any text, any little tool that you've used, like smart objects. Everything work with masking. So just go to type. Oh, sorry. I installed some new types. I guess that has to. Uh, Let's get used to it. All right, let's name this "Masking is Cool" and not make it white. Masking is cool. Okay, so now that we have "Masking is Cool," you can't see that's the little text layer. That means that it is vectorized, which is very useful when you're making a uh, logo. But that'll be in a future tutorial. And what we want to do at this point is go down to this little logo right here, the camera kind of looking thing. And it says add layer mask whenever you keep your mouse over it. Go ahead and press that. And nothing happens. What this menu is, is you can see right here that it created a new little menu. And you can always go back to your regular text layer, but you do have a new menu right here. And whenever this is enabled and you select your paintbrush, you can actually paint on your picture and it will not create or take away anything at the moment. Why is that? Because masking only deals with black and white and every color in between so any shade from white to black will affect this. On white it is adding to your picture. On black it is taking away. So I'm just going to go ahead and press X and figure out why this disappeared on me. Masking can be kind of finicky and it's not necessarily perfect. But, it's strange. Oh, okay. I left it white. Sorry guys. Not paying attention to what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. See, so yeah, alright, I am on the masking layer. My color is black. And when I start to paint away, it starts to disappear. Now it looks like crap and it's almost gone. But if you look over here in the mask layer, you do see that wherever I painted, that is where what shows up over here. So let's say I didn't want to cover up my M at all and I wanted to bring my M back. Just press X to get back to white and color that back in and take that away. Let's just have the M for masking is cool. There we go. Now we just have an M. And it looks kind of fucky over here, but that doesn't matter. It's what looks good over here. So we have an M. And let's try to 
let's just bring back is cool. So M is cool. Matt is cool. Matt is cool. Okay, good. We have Matt is cool on the screen. So this is the basic, very basic version of masking. You can see that it works very easily if you pay attention to what color your text is in comparison to your background. But at this point, I want to show you how to remove a mask. Go up to your selector tool, click on your mask, right click. You can either disable layer mask to see all of everything that was there initially, or you can do delete layer mask. When you delete layer mask, your mask is completely gone. You can create a new one. Create a new one, brand new, nothing from the old one is there. Go ahead and delete that again. And that is masking for you. You can also do this with rasterized images. So you just click raster type, mask, brush. Works the exact same way. This also works with just regular images and everything that you could possibly think of. Brushes, everything works with it. And you can also use different shades of gray to take the opacity down different amounts. So you can see that makes it gray. It's very interesting, very fun to use. Um, I highly recommend it for up and coming designers so you learn safe ways to crop your images without doing very harsh methods. But at this point, I have to go. So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate the support one more time. And uh, let me know what you think about the video.